I got a question for you. Why is our why is our viewers like it when I fucking like humili humiliate them? I call them fat, ugly, lazy, no boning, fucking whatever, and they love that. I feel like y'all like what's it called? It's some kind of weird kink when you're into getting fucking humiliated. <laughs> you all have tiny cocks. They love that. <laughs> they were wilding. Yeah, Daddy, tell me I have a tiny cock and a weak dead left. What's your question? I was gonna ask if size matters. <laughs> yeah, see? I think it does, and they know it does, but for some reason they, they wanna hear it, man. They wanna hear, I'm weak, I'm fragile, and a tiny penis. I didn't do what I was supposed to do. It's not long enough yet. No, the back shimmies a little. I, th I think we're gonna bleach it again. I think I'm trying to go into 2023 being your favorite Draco Malfoy, you know, on my Draco. But I don't know if that's gonna happen. I think I'm gonna do it though. But yeah, not bad. Sometimes, talk about like building confidence and stuff. Some as little as like a, a routine to get ready, a routine for your haircut. I talk about with clothes, obviously. Like, I think I, it clicked in my head. And I always knew it, but I never like said it this way. Is like the reason I love sneakers and clothes is because it made me feel a certain way. And having that momentum and confidence in yourself obviously can trickle in anything, but in basketball, lifting too for sure. Um, but like no matter how much pep's in your step, you ain't gonna pull a hundred pound PR. But in basketball, if you got some pep in your step, I played with the most trash kids, and they had the most confidence, and they're just lights out. There's something there, you know? And so like, I think that's life too. Like how you carry yourself, how you speak, chest up kind of thing, shoulders back, really matters. And so something as simple as a haircut for me is one of my big ones. Obviously dressing a certain way makes me feel like that too. But find out what that is for you. Everyone talks about the self-care bullshit and like the act of it isn't the self-care, right? It, it's how it affects you. A bath isn't self-care, but if you need to relax, maybe a bath is an option for you. Um, so I'm looking at your haircut routine, man. It makes me feel good. Kept the beard. We call it the winter bulk beard. that last one feel? I think it's because I'm getting older. I don't really know. Um, but I can't, my mind and body don't connect with the speed that's happening. Back in the day, I would just know, like good day, bad day, whatever. Now I can't really tell. I don't know what that is. Maybe y'all can relate who have been training for like, I'm going on 15 years of like heavy training. I've lifted weights since eighth grade, so even more than that. But like since high school, I've been getting after. I'm about to be 35, so that's about 15. I guess 20, but you get the idea and uh, up until maybe four years ago I could tell if I'm strong today if it's moving fast I could hit RPEs better in my head now I don't know why man but like feeling that it felt like a seven or eight and then looking at the cam it's probably a six or seven and I know that's not a huge difference but it's something um, and it does mess with my confidence a little bit you know when you feel strong I remember taking 500 pounds back in the day and feeling like I could throw it through the roof I would rip it up so fast uh, we just did a podcast with Pete Rubis, who was known for being explosive and one of the best deadlifters in the raw game ever, let alone in that era. Literally trailblazing type shit. If you don't know Pete Rubis, look him up. And he talked a lot about that, how he used to, like, with the homies, would, like, race in the warm-ups to see who could pull shit faster, you know, 400, 500, even 600. I used to be like that, too. Um, and I'm still putting that kind of force and attention to this, but it just doesn't feel as satisfying. It, I don't drop it like, damn, I'm fast. Or back in the day, I used to be like, fuck, it's a good day. So it felt fine. Um, but we got some big weights to pull. This weight uh, is what I missed probably seven months ago, six months ago. I think it was June or July. I tried to take this, and, and I missed below my knees. So 
there's always a little head game with that, no matter how advanced of a lifter you are or how experienced. And, I, and one of the true gifts I do have as an athlete, I think, is my brain and being a gamer. Um, and it's still getting your head. So, you know, being, what do they say, pull the curtain, Wizard of Oz, Wizard of Oz shit. Uh, I, you're not alone if you kind of think that and you play the mental game. But that's why I have a routine. That's why I turn on certain songs. It doesn't really matter what the song is. I just go over there and choose a song. Um, but it, it, the process of choosing the song, hitting my camera, hitting my belt all in the same order gets me prepared to execute the exact same way every time, and that starts from the beginning. Does size matter? Well, in essence, that question gets asked all the time. I think, uh, like, for example, it's wintertime, you know. Size matters in the wintertime, you know. Cuddle buddy. Uh, you know, a lot of... Lot of uh, Females are taking cuddle buddy applications. I, I'm open. Uh, I have a great resume. I'm an established entrepreneur. I have some fluff on me for warmth. I radiate heat. Uh, so, you know, if if you're looking, I'm available. Where do they apply? Um, you can apply in the link below. There's going to be a, do, a Google Docs app below. Uh, you'll be able to click and fill out the application. I prefer long walks on the beach. I like to be fed snacks on a regular basis. And um, just a good time, you know, that's it. How's that single feel? In hindsight, pretty good. Um, you know, it's hard to say. We talked about this a little bit, but like RPEs and reps in reserve, if you guys want to get a little nerdy, um, can be correlated when you're a beginner lifter or even intermediate, but they're not the same thing. And as the stronger you get, the less correlated they become. Um, someone like a Jamal Browner, you know, who deadlifts over 1,000 pounds, might hit like 950 for an RPE 8, but that doesn't mean he could do it for three or four reps necessarily. I mean, he can probably because he's a monster, but you get what I'm saying. Just because it moves at a certain speed or exertion doesn't mean that it's automatically. Reps in reserve means that's your point goal is how many reps are in reserve. But RPE is more of kind of a speed check. And for me, anything eight or below probably means there was like no stall. I'm not the best at grinding, so this is lifter dependent. I'm more of an explosive lifter, but there was no real stall there. Um, so which case I'd probably sit around seven and a half, eight. Uh, let me know what you guys think of the comments. Um, but overall pretty good, man. I can't complain. So sleep was good this week. Food's back on track. I was, I was, uh, cooking all my meals, which is a new year's, you know, start for me. Although today's new year's Eve. I started after Christmas. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna try to cook more meals, get more sleep and see what we got next week, fam. Does, uh, does size matter? Size matter? Of course not. No, of course size matters. Of course. Like it doesn't even... It's not even a question. And if you say it doesn't, then you're lying or you're insecure. And if you have a small piece, you just got to kind of own it. Like, I own it, you know? Dan owns it. That's just like anything. That's like saying, like, like it sounds bad. But like, does your income matter? No, it doesn't. It, I mean, to people, it does matter. But you um, matter. Is that the average cock, I believe, worldwide or in America was like five inches? Yeah. But that's all self-reported yeah. survey. We talked about that. And it's a horrible survey. So who's going to say they're four inches? Who's going to say they're three and a half inches? That's like liver king science on the dick. Like, that shit don't cut it. It, it was, there was, yeah, there's no oh, peer review or nothing, oh, I don't think. Study? Yeah, doc. <laughs> Ten inches, doc. We might need to take some off, actually. Take some off the top, a little trim. So, I mean, that in itself answers the question if size matters or not. Because if people are fabricating, which you know they are, let's just like... Everybody knows that. So if you're fabricating, that means it does matter because it means something deep to you. That's like saying, like, does height matter? Obviously, height matters. It, like, I hate to say it. Like, it just does. Why do you think this whole the whole short kings, the whole this and that ball, it's all fucking... Of course it matters. I've seen my boy get denied for being short. Gee, I guess. What's that? What's like six girls at once. Does size matter? At the end of the day, I don't think it does. But here's a tip for y'all single men out there. When you meet the girl, you got to let her think that you got a small pee-pee. And then when you whip it out, 
she gonna be like, it's actually not that small. Undersell, over deliver. Not for my perverted friends talked about size mattering or not. The truth is, and we're realizing even more and more whether you want to base it on evidence or just um, anecdotal, but size does matter. <laughs> size matters, ladies and gentlemen. That's the official uh, theme of 2023. Size does matter. Um, yes, there are some anomalies. You're going to say, wow, uh, and shout out to my boy JPG. He's calling this the new sleeper build. Well, that guy doesn't have a lot of muscle, but he can deadlift 600. You know, he looks unassuming. He doesn't look very strong. And that's going to be the case with some people. Some people are going to just have certain muscle fiber types, leverages, and be able to fire all their muscles at once to be able to lift more weight and get skill within that lift. But the majority of us, and even them, even that person, that's the anomaly. We all know one, right? Weighs 150 pounds, real skinny, no muscle anywhere, still deadlifts over 500 pounds. That person, if they build more muscle on their back, hams, glutes, they will deadlift more weight. Um, to express that weight, yeah, we have to worry about programming, um, lifting fast and heavy, uh, and, and overall intensity over time. But building that muscle with going back to the IRI, RIR stuff, um, closer to failure type sets on accessories, right? Especially single joint movements, we're handling less load, so it won't be as fatiguing on the system if you're a strength athlete. Um, building more muscle, having more muscle over time, which is a very lengthy process, a lifelong process, some would say, will allow you to lift more weight overall. And that's why we do things, even me, right? We're doing deadlifts, um, top set to build that strength, that coordination, that skill. Then we're doing some drop sets to build that volume, to build some muscle in the back end, right? Three by threes, three by fives at a pretty high intensity. It doesn't have to be failure. It just has to be a pretty high intensity. Um, and then even more higher intensities, we're taking the load down, handling uh, less range, but only like a one, you know, one or two joints with an RDL. Yeah, you're using your knees a little bit, but we're doing more of an accessory with the RDLs, building muscle in the hams and glutes, finished off with some back and buys, same thing, more muscle, more gains, more strength. Size does matter, ladies and gentlemen. Be about something big in yourself. 3SB.co. So the mic, we're out here. Happy New Year. And we'll catch you uh, in the next one, man, Monday, Thursday. Later, y'all.